Psych. Look, gone. Y'all now y'all knew. Y'all knew I was about to cut my hair off. It was coming. It was time. It had to happen. It happened. Listen, and I can't turn back the hands of time. I'm getting real Susan vibes. Like, is it me? Or do I look like real, you know, Susan from the corporate office, Sheila type situation? I just want to see, ooh, when I curl it, child, when I curl it. <laughs> well, hello, good people. Um, <clears throat> Babe, I'm pumping these videos out. I'm trying to record as much as I can when I can. Because I be getting busy and I was doing my hair. So I was like, girl, why don't you just extend on your motivation? Because y'all love the many motivations and I love giving them to y'all. So I know one of them I said, or one of them that I did was, it's okay if you don't know what your passion is. And... I always say, you know, God gave everybody a purpose, first of all. He gave everybody a talent, a gift, a purpose. You have at least one. He gave everybody at least one at the bare minimum. I have multiple. And it's okay if you don't know what that what that passion is. Not even just purpose, because there is a difference between a passion and a purpose. I have a passion for accounting. I have a passion for writing. I have a passion for publishing. I have a passion for a lot of things. But ultimately, my purpose is to help other people, to be a motivator, to use my voice, to use my connection to God, to use my spirit, spirituality, to use my authenticity to help other people. Ultimately, that's what my purpose was or is, whether I do it through writing, whether I do it verbally, whether I do it on this platform, YouTube, what, it doesn't matter. That's what my purpose is. Whether I'm talking to kids or talking to grown-ups, whether I'm talking to abuse victims, whether I'm talking to people who are dealing with mental health issues. Ultimately, I feel like God, you know what I'm going to say? I feel like I know. I know that that's the purpose God gave me. And again, I always say, you know what your purpose is? Because even when you try not to do it, you do it anyway. A lot of the times I'll be texting somebody. And this happens, y'all, this happens so often. I'll be texting to somebody and talking to somebody about something completely different. We could be talking about business. We could be talking about me. We could be talking about anything. And I'll just, somehow the spirit leads me. And I know when people are going through stuff. I have that discernment to where I can tell. I can see it in you. I can hear it in you. I can feel it in you. And I'll just end up in a whole motivation spill. Without even knowing what exactly you're going through. And then when you open up about what you're going through, I got a word for that too. So, I did find out my purpose. But I didn't find that out until after I dropped trouble. Because y'all know, or if you don't know, then you need to read trouble. And obviously look at some more videos. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, all of that, all of that. Because I done put a bra on for y'all and I don't like putting them on. But... <laughs> Girl, you a miss. But I didn't find that purpose until after I released my book. Until after somebody told me, shout out to Sharice, that the light that I have when I'm speaking to people and when I'm motivating people, the light in my face, the smile on my face is huge. And I didn't know that. I didn't feel that way then. I was trying, I was finna become a CPA, take the exam. Going to corporate accounting. I was finna do all that. I was in the getting my master's degree. And when she said that, I was like, for real? Huh. And this was 2016. I knew from events that I've had and dropping the book or whatever, like I had already started my motivation process and started my process as an author and as a speaker, but it didn't really hit until 2016. And until she told me that, then my life changed because I'm not a CPA. I'm not going to take the exam. I am an accountant. I do own a financial and accounting business, but I'm not a CPA. And ultimately, that's not what I really want to do. Accounting is my passion. It's not my purpose. Accounting is, I actually love Eli. I'm such a nerd, but it's not my purpose. 
And it's okay not to know what your passion is because now we're discussing passion. I threw that spiel in there about purpose, but we're discussing passion. Especially if you're an entrepreneur or become an entrepreneur, are you trying to create something? You have a goal for yourself. And you may start in one direction and then put years into it or experience into it, time into it, energy into it, and then decide, you know what, I don't want to do this no more. I love it, but it's not the direction I want to go in. And it's okay to do that. It's okay to work in something you feel like is your passion and then change it. It's just like when you're in college and you change majors. Like, it's okay to do that. It's going to happen. You're going to discover a new one. When you discover a new one, you might put more effort and energy into that one. Because I discovered new passions over a course of five to seven years that I didn't even know I had. So you're going to discover new ones. You're going to discover different ones. It's about how you feel about them. And you'll know when you feel it. So it's okay for one not to know it, and it's okay to change what your passion is. Because again, we're talking about passions, we're not talking about purpose. And we have this idea that, well, I can't give up on this. Like, I started it, it's my passion, it makes me happy, but it's not really what I want to do. But I don't want to give up on it. But it's okay to sometimes do that. Because if you find something that makes you happier, something you feel like, you know what, God told me to go this way. It's okay to change. It's okay to switch. You're not a failure because you do that. And a lot of our issues, because this is with me too, a lot of our issues is self-doubt. Did I just twist that and I was supposed to burn it? Okay, I burned it. A lot of our issues are self-doubt, feeling like we're incompetent because I felt that way. I felt that way about my accounting business because in my mind, I'm like, well, who, like, what makes me stand out from everybody else? Like, who going to come to me? I felt that way about publishing. Like, who am I to start a publishing company? I was an editor for years, but who am I to be a publisher? Like, am I really ready for that? Can I do that? Can I pull that off? I had so much self-doubt. Even with speaking and, and doing more engagements, like who's going to pick me? What makes me stand out? I didn't know that then. And I was scared. <laughs> like I was scared. It's like I had faith, but I really had some self-doubt. Like what's going to make me stand out from everybody else? And so that's a lot of our issue is that we have this self-doubt. And it's like, can I really do this? Am I capable of doing this? Like, is this? Can I, can I pull this off? I don't know how to do this. When in reality, you do. You just don't see it. And you're not going to see it until you start doing it. Because when I jumped and leaped on faith and actually started doing it, I was like, God damn, girl. You've been sleeping on yourself. <laughs> like, man, you the shit. <laughs> like, what are you doing? You really the shit out here. You really the shit out here. And I'm there's no such thing as being overly humble and I'm that person because to me it's just normal and it took me a little minute to celebrate the win celebrate the accomplishments realize that at a young age I'm not even 30 yet and I've accomplished all these things and I was I one day I was like girl you tripping <laughs> like you really uh you capable you can do this I don't and again that ain't nothing but negative spirit in your ear telling you you can't do something but I promise you, you can. So remove that self-doubt. If you have a passion right now, you ain't really just feeling it. And you found another one. And you're like, nah, this is what really touched my heart. This is really what I want to do. It's okay. Like, it, it really is. It's nothing wrong with that. That's what you call enlightenment. You, just, you noticed. You felt it. Nah, this ain't it. Like, it's cool, I love it, but this ain't it. And you let yourself get in your head. Get out your head. I'm going to tell you that right. Get out, of your, get out of your head. Don't do that. Don't talk yourself out of nothing. Don't have, you know, you're going to have some anxiety about it. You're going to have some worry about it. But let faith trump that. 
Listen to the spirit and not the mind. Because y'all already know the mind is the devil's playground. Get out your own head. And you won't know until you try it. It's nothing wrong with failing that song, but you won't know that until you try it. If you try it and you fail, either try again or try something different. And that's okay. That is okay. It's nothing wrong with that. And we have to come to that realization that it's nothing wrong with that. Hold on real quick, y'all. How am I going? Damn. Girl, did you just... What is she doing? Oh, this was... See, one side of my head don't work like the other side of my head. Like, I got more hair on one side. So, it'd be a struggle. Like, see, this one I'm going to have to do two parts this way. That going to work? Hold on, y'all. I done cut my hair. So, now I'm trying to figure out what the, what the hell is going on. What the hell is going on between the sheets in my home? I ain't got no sense. Y'all already know who I am. <laughs> I don't know why y'all acting like y'all not. But again, like even take my YouTube platform, for example, since we here. Man, you couldn't tell me. I didn't think I would be doing this. You couldn't tell me I'd be a blogger. Like I knew I was, I was doing a little motivation videos. I didn't become consistent with my YouTube until two years ago. And then the way I did my YouTube and the way I structured my channel is different now than it used to be. I used to do my, my videos on a schedule. I had my topics. I used to sit in one spot. I wasn't vlogging. I wasn't doing minute motivations. I wasn't doing ride with me's. I wasn't doing reaction videos. That ain't where I thought my YouTube channel was going to go. That ain't what I thought it was for. And it wasn't, it was a passion for me, but it, it's really a passion for me. When I started changing my format of it, I saw the potential in it. I saw the potential in it. And again, shout out to my cousin because she was the one who gave me the idea to start vlogging. And from there, it turned into a whole thing. So, it's okay. Like, when I switched the way I did it, it wasn't like, oh, man, like it just looks so different now and it's not the same. It's not this. It's not that. Like who want to watch a vlog? Who want to watch me do this? Who want to watch me say that? And then I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Shit, if they don't want to watch it, they don't want to watch it. It's, like, it's all about what makes me happy. And this is what makes me happy. This method works for me. And I got a chance to really be myself because it's one thing to sit there and talk about something. And I was always myself, but it's one thing to sit there and talk about something and give motivation, but it's another thing for y'all to see me in my day-to-day -day life, or y'all see me be raw and unfiltered for real. Y'all see the, the funny side of me when I do reaction videos. Y'all see the business side of me when I talk about that, or when I take y'all to an event with me or something like that. Like, it's so many true elements of me. Like, this is really elements of me. This is really what that channel was built for and the name behind it. So I was okay with that. I followed that. I was okay with that. Be okay with change. Be okay to know that if something is not working, try another way. You're not giving up. You're not being a quitter. You're not being something you're not. It's a part of life, especially when you're powerful and you're trying to create this life for yourself that you always wanted. Things are going to change. And it's not even it's a it's a change, but it's also growth. It's called growth. And you have to recognize that you have to embrace that you have to love that and you have to be that. Y'all heard what I said? Oh, okay. If you didn't, rewind. But it's okay to do that. I'm telling you right here now. And I know y'all probably like, girl, who's you to tell me that? Me. I And is. I'm telling you. Shit. <laughs> if you don't listen to nobody else, listen to me. I'm telling you. Block out all that other shit. 
Listen, listen to what I'm saying. Again, God put me here for this purpose. I didn't already told y'all it was my calling. I'm not just saying that just because. I'm not a motivator just because. I said it. Shit. <laughs> and if you need to listen to it over and over again, then listen to it over and over again. When somebody tell you some negative shit and tell you what you can't do, hit them with the, uh, but Miranda said that I can do this. Miranda said, I got this. So whatever you talking about don't matter. If you got to hit them with that, hit them with that. And then drop the link on them. Then, then give them the video. Because clearly this is what you need in your life. So I'm telling you right now. At the end of the day, you got this. You know what's in your spirit. You know what makes you happy. Whether it's something you did two months ago, whether it's something you did 20 years ago, two years ago, it don't matter. Growth comes in time. You're not going to be the same person you was 10 years ago. You're not going to be the same person you was last year. We get older with the age is a thing. We grow in time. We grow as we get older. I'm not doing the same thing I was doing when I was a teenager. Damn, sure not doing the same. Hell, I'm celibate now. And I was I was promiscuous. And you couldn't have told me I'd be here either. So, growth. <laughs> Again, I say. Change and growth. That's what you call that. And I'm sorry if I'm loud. I'm just yelling at y'all. <laughs> Turn the volume down. <laughs> Shit. I'm, I'm loud because I'm, look, telling y'all what's up. I'm giving y'all the realness right now. Passionate. So, it's okay. Do what you got to do, sis. Do what you got to do, bro. And that's that on that. Now, go and be great. Love you. Bye.